Hi, I'm Anupi Singla with Indian is Apple Pie. Welcome to my Indian kitchen. I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful, classic, delicious Indian dal. In India, we love our lentils and pulses, and we eat them with just about every meal. Now, um, you want to keep in mind there's hundreds of different varieties of lentils out there, and one that I'm going to be using today is called a masoor lentil. It's a very easy, fast cooking lentil, and one that you'll easily find in a typical non-Indian grocery store. Remember with the lentils, the cooking times are pretty easy to remember and the amount of water to the lentils is pretty easy as well. So it's one cup of lentils to about four cups of water. Cook that on the stove top for about 20 minutes. And then you're gonna basically add spices and some fresh ingredients like cilantro and green chilies. We're also going to include lots of fun spices that you can house in your spice tiffin right here, including turmeric, garam masala, coriander powder, and of course our base is always with North Indian cooking cumin seed. And I'm going to add some red chili powder for heat. I've got salt right in the middle as my backup. My coarse sea salt will be ready to go. We're going to head over to the stove and show you how to make this. Whenever we make a lentil or dal, we essentially cook the lentils in water. So it's just basically plain lentil soup. And then we spice it on the side in a treatment called darka. Darka is basically tempering. It's heating your oil so that when you put the spices in it, they basically um, exude or we extract all of the essential oils and flavors from the spices. So now I've got a light oil, a canola, a vegetable, or a grapeseed. You can also use ghee if you want to cook traditionally. And we're going to put some cumin seed in there. We're going to let that heat just a little bit. And as it's heating, we're going to go ahead and put a half teaspoon of turmeric powder to give it some color, not to be mistaken with curry powder. It's very different. And we'll go ahead and um, throw in a little bit of coriander powder as well in that oil, just a pinch of that. We'll add more coriander powder to the dal a little bit later. As that heats up, and again, as the essential oils of the spices are being extracted, we'll put our fresh ingredients in. For a great dal, gotta have some onions. We're gonna go ahead and fry that up a little bit. And my ginger garlic blend over here. And the sizzle is always really nice to get that nice sound, the delicious flavors and the aromas coming off of that. And it smells so good already. We're going to go ahead and brown the onions. And as they brown, you can choose whether or not you want to put some tomatoes in there. I like chopped tomatoes in my doll, so we'll go ahead and add those in. That's about one diced small plum tomato. And a couple other ingredients. I like my dal really spicy, so I've got two Thai green chili peppers that I've just sliced up. I'm going to put it right in there, mix it up, and now finish my spicing. We're going to go ahead and put a teaspoon of the gutta masala, another half teaspoon of the coriander powder, and half a teaspoon of my red chili powder or cayenne. And why don't we go ahead and put a teaspoon of our salt in right there. So now you've got the tharka, the tempering, right here on the side. And that is all of your flavor that is going to go into your lentils. What we're going to take, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and eventually move over to your lentils, put it right in, cook it for a little bit longer, and we'll be good to go. So here's the really easy and magical trick to dal. All of your taste, all of your flavor is right here in this little pan. It's going into the soft lentils and water. It's like a soup, right? So we've got it basically going right in there. We're going to give it a mix to get all those flavors throughout the entire soup. We're going to let it heat up again. It'll come to a boil and let it simmer for another five or ten minutes. And as it's cooking, we'll go ahead and put some more flavor. Because with Indian food, the idea is to layer your food with different flavors. In North India, we love our cilantro. So here we go. We're going to add a little bit of the cilantro. Let that cook for another couple minutes. 
and that is easy dal soup. So dal is pure comfort in a bowl. It's delicious when made right and can be served just like this as a soup or over rice. Thanks for joining me in my Indian kitchen. I'm Indian as apple pie, Anupi Singla.